has already made four quick saves to start this one. Numbers the other way, and they score. Put it up on the board. The Comer Kodiak scores. Stone Jacobs, who had a goal last week, starts off the festivities here. Just 2.36 into this one. Just a great goal on transition for the Kodiaks. As soon as they got possession, they had three guys take off up the floor, and the ball ended up in the stick of Stone Jacobs, who was able to beat Higgins short side. Makes a nice little move. As you see, he had a couple options on the far side, so Higgins was waiting. Maybe there was going to be a pass, but... Grabs the biscuit back, throws it over to the far side now. That's Thompson through traffic, actually hit his own teammate, who's a little wobbled on that, and yet somehow they score. Man the torpedoes here, Scott. Early and often, the Homer Kodiaks are out to a 2-0 lead. As it is Brooklyn slicing and dicing. Nice move and a highlight reel goal. Brock Haley. Now you see him, now you don't. And Brooklyn's on the board. What a move from Haley to break free. And as he's getting knocked down to the ground, manages to get the shot off, stay out of the crease, and cut the Kodiaks lead in half. What an individual effort. And here's Haley charging down. Looks like he might drop it back. He had his stick turned to drop it to a teammate. Heardin grabs the ball right now. Into the middle, they score! I believe that's Eddie Renault with his first goal of 2024 for Brooklyn, and we're tied up at twos 11 minutes into this game. Anderson still looking for his first goal of 2024 after accumulating 28 last year, and Brooklyn comes back the other way, and they score. Last year had a 5-3 home record, but a 3-5 road record to go 8-8 eight eight for a 500 split in 2023 as they score! Beautiful passing, Brady Kiernan caps it off. 20 goals last year and he continues to rumble in 2024. Four unanswered goals for Brooklyn. Just 2.13 left to go in the first period. And you see once again, Brooklyn with some good ball movement, everybody getting a touch, and then squeaking through the traffic is Brady Kiernan. As it is, Brooklyn trying to start off with a power play goal to kick off the second period here. Although, just a couple seconds left in it, we're back to even strength, and that won't count as a power play goal, but Sean Wesley has now made it a 5-2 game for Brooklyn. Penalty was a delay a game because Hendricks didn't put the ball down when it was supposed to be a possession change. He rolled it away. So you couple that with the too many men on the floor penalty. These are kind of foolish minors to take as this one sneaks behind Oralman and they score. I believe Sean Wesley is going to get credit for it. We'll see what the officials from the scorekeepers say, but Oralman thought he had a chunk of it, but it wasn't enough. And we've seen Brooklyn moving the ball so well all night. When you give them a little bit of space on the near side, you can see the Kodiaks kind of pinching over, waiting for those passes as they continue to pour it on here with the man advantage. 20 seconds left in it. They're closing in and they score. Tick, tack, toe, and Luke Keenan puts it on the board. Luke Keenan just slowly started sneaking his way through traffic, got the ball right at the top of the crease and just wired it home. Power play marker, the seventh unanswered goal from Brooklyn. Such a quick flick of the wrist from Luke Keenan. He came into this game with five points in the opening three games of the regular season, but just one goal. That was a pretty impressive one on the power play, Scott. And Keenan, a multi-sport athlete. He went to Princeton. Night if you are, Steve Orlman, just seeing the ball coming at you from all different angles. As another opportunity, and they score. Have mercy, Liam Osborne now has made it eight straight goals for Brooklyn, and this is where I would debate either a timeout or a goaltender change if you were the coach in Francis. You see Brooklyn just taking it from the outside. Back the other way with a head of steam. And they score. My word, Connor Kiernan continues to throw it up on the board. It's nine straight now for Brooklyn. Zach Belter won't get the assist, but watch 54 White just drive his man out of the way. 
and that allows Connor Kiernan to just be uncontested in front. You can't leave him alone. This guy had 79 points with the New York Riptide in the National Lacrosse League this past season. He knows how to find the back of the net, and that's going to be the end of the night for Steve Orlerman. Or for now, this could be just a break in lacrosse. You see that sometimes the goaltender will just come off for a couple minutes. We'll have to see how the next couple of shifts go. But for now, Joel Watson, who is just released from Brooklyn and picked up by the Kodiaks, he is in between the pipes. No warm-up. Used to see warm-up back in the day. Now the goaltender, the only warm-up he gets is at the start of the game. You will talk about this being just a two-team league between Six Nations and Peterborough. What happens? We see nine straight on the board by Brooklyn and make it ten. Brooklyn is trying to change that narrative in the major series lacrosse league here in 2024. Watch out, Six Nations, and watch out, Peterborough. Brady Kiernan getting his second. This one a shorthanded marker, 38 seconds left to go in the too many men penalty as Brooklyn just takes advantage. And a 701 save percentage, all those numbers are going to go in the right direction for him at the end of this one. Yeah, no, he's certainly a valuable piece, and his team rewards him at the other end as Brock Haley with another one. His second goal of the game. So everybody's getting in on the theatrics here on your Sunday, except for Kohlberg. 11 straight goals for the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. Also added to the bench is Brad Reed, as well as recent head coach of the Brooklyn Merchants and Clancy Adams, and well, Maybe it's not too little, maybe it's not too late, but the Coburg Kodiaks finally retaliate after giving up 11 straight. Stopping the bleeding. We'll see if it's momentarily or if they can go on a little bit of a run here. The Coburg Community Center is located in Coburg, Ontario, and we respectfully acknowledge that we're located in the traditional and treaty territories of the Mississauga and Chippewa Nations, collectively known as the Williams Treaty's First Nations, including Curve Lake, Hawatha, Alderville, Scugog, Rama, Bosalu, and Georgina First I or Fir Island First Nations. Northumberland County respectively acknowledges that the Mississauga Nations are the collective stewards and caretakers of these lands and waters in perpetuity, and they continue to maintain this responsibility to ensure their health and integrity for generations to come. As we enjoy Canada's original sport known as, well, the summer sport, and Brooklyn continues to rumble in this third period of play. It's Brock Haley. I believe that's the hat trick. Three goals and four assists. On Wednesday, June 19th, that's an 8 p.m. game for these two teams to, well, rekindle their friendship, question mark. Two on one, Saris scores! His first goal of his major series lacrosse career, the second overall pick from the MSL draft in 2024, which took place in Oakville back in January at the Toronto Rock Athletic Center. That's a special one, keep that ball. And the ball just got thrown into the bench. That'll be a souvenir for Saris that he'll get to keep, and you just see the speed, and then finding that opening. Still an eight goal deficit though, but a big goal for the rookie. Well, is that a light at the end of the tunnel or is it just a train coming out of Scott? And now Brooklyn with 6.38 remaining in the game, back into Colbert's territory, an opportunity, and they score. Luke Keenan, lucky number 13 on the board for the BLC on your Sunday night. Keenan's second goal of the game. This one coming on transition, and you just see an unselfish play from the far side. And yet quickly, 11 straight were put on the board. This one just crossed the line. Brady Kiernan, I thought it hit the goal post. He ends up hitting both posts, but the ball crossed the goal line. And that's the hat trick goal for Kiernan. And you can see him right there at the top, 83 white. He steps, steps, and then it hits something. Maybe a little bit of every stick. Yeah, I think it might have hit Watson's <laughs> stick at the top as well. Nonetheless, finds the back of the net. The final seconds go, and the buzzer hits. And after leading 2-0, oh, the Cobra Kodiaks fall 14-4 in their second game of the regular season. The Brooklyn Lacrosse Club improves to 3-1 and, and see themselves now at the top of the MSL standings. Coburg will look to retaliate on the road in just two nights' time with their one-on-one -on -one record versus the Six Nations Chiefs. We will wrap up this incredible MSL action on the other side of this break here on your TV.